Hey everybody, Alan Slaughterzinski, 321 Sportscast here from the beautiful Rockledge Studios. And I'm here with the new Vieira Hawks head basketball coach, Logan Keith. First of all, coach, welcome to the 321 Sportscast set. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing good, Alan. I appreciate you having me on. Well, coach, you are our first coach's interview, and well, there's a reason for it, and that is because it's been a hot topic this summer. Obviously, anybody that knows anything about Brevard County sports knows this was the guy over at Rockledge for so many years. That program was so successful. And now you make the jump to Vieira. But coach, I think the elephant in the room um, has to be taken care of first. And that is, why the jump? So, you know, my very first job as a coach was an assistant at Rockledge. Miss Holland and uh, Mr. Hines hired me on 15 years ago. So I served two years as an assistant and then 13 years as head coach. Um, and, and I'm so thankful and grateful that they hired me on and, and let me make my mistakes and grow as a young coach. Uh, I made tons of mistakes. I'll be the first to admit it. <laughs> uh, but, you know, they stuck with me and, and administration changed throughout the years and everybody was, was always great, uh, elite administration they mm -hmm. had at Rockledge. Um, for my own coaching career, I just felt it was time for a change. Sure. Uh, you know, I wanted, to, I wanted the challenge of building what we have, what we had at Rockledge. I want to build that at Vieira. Yeah. Uh, so when the job came open, um, you know, I was interested. And how, how much did you wrestle with this at night? I mean, you know, obviously because at Vieira High School, and again, you look at this. This is a school. It's got got some money. Okay. It's got a boosters. You know, they got great booster clubs there. I, you know, how do you how, how do you how do you reconcile it at night? So this decision, this was probably it. Probably took me three weeks. Sure. Just just to get to the point where I would apply, and uh, my emotional attachment to Rockledge is super super yeah. deep. Um, so what I tried to do is remove that emotional attachment, and uh, you know through prayer, talks with my family, my mentors, uh, guys that I trust. Um, you know, we just removed that emotional attachment, and it just kind of made sense. You leave as the FAC at District 12 Coach of the Year. Congratulations on that honor. That's a tremendous honor. Um, some of your, you know, before we move on to talk about your future, some of your highlights when you look back on your career at Rockledge, what are some of the things that, that pop into your mind? I, I would say the biggest thing uh, for me is uh, the, the relationships sure. with my players. Uh, you know, you win a lot of games, you lose a lot of games, close games, blowouts. You live through it all as a coach at some point in time. Uh, but I, f I feel like my favorite thing is the relationships. Um, and throughout the years, there's been so many. Yeah. Um, I mean, I see guys, you know, I get, I get opportunities to go to weddings and uh, just, you know, be a mentor to those guys. You know, I, I was a head coach, I think, at 23 years old. Wow. So guys I was coaching, you know, those seniors are 17, 18, 19 years old. Yeah. So, so a lot of those guys are like little brothers. Um, I would say that's the biggest thing is the yeah. relationship. Yeah, you know, you and I, you know, here on 321 Sportscast, I mean, we share a lot. I went through the same thing recently. You know, I mean, it's where you get your start. And then you make a change, and it's big, and it turns your world upside down. But you always know that it's absolutely for the better. You seem like you're, you're happy. Um, talk a little bit about your coaching style. Uh, what can Vieira expect to see from you? Uh, well, it's going to be a lot of work. Yeah. It's going to be, uh, you know, we want to turn that into an everyday, uh, everyday deal. Like, you know, we're either going to lift, and right now we're doing open gyms, but, you know, lifting every day and just trying to create a habit of doing something every day. That's the first step. Uh, and then obviously the most important thing is, is when you're around the kids every day, you get mm -hmm. a chance to build relationships with them. Right. Uh, so I feel like going into the summer, my most important thing is to build the relationships with the guys. So that way when I ask them to do X, Y, Z, uh, you know, we have a relationship and they trust me and I trust them and, and we can build on that. When Coach Keith asks you to do X, Y, Z, you do X, Y, and Z. Um, Coach, talk a little bit about – you know, obviously the goal was always to win a state championship. I mean, that, that's, that's a given. But this thing has to come in stages. And the Vieira basketball program, to me anyway, last year, it wasn't, it's not ready to make the step to a, a state championship contender. Where would you realistically like to be next year? Uh, next year, I, I want to compete in our district. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to be in that district championship game. Mm -hmm. And I want to compete in the uh, Cape Coast Conference. Gotcha. Um, you know, top three, top four. 
I feel like, you know, we got some pieces. Um, you know, we're going to change the style of play a little bit um, and become defensive minded and, and really develop our offensive skills in the offseason. And, you know, we got guys bought in every, every day in the weight room. We have, you know, 20 to 25 kids. Um, and they're really, really working. So I'm excited to, to build from that. You know, you really have an opportunity here at Vieira because, you know, and, and I'm not jumping back to Rockledge, but when you think of Rockledge, right, you know, you think of Rockledge football, and then people can easily turn the page to Rockledge basketball. In other words, you don't miss – I mean, you miss watching football, but you don't miss Rockledge football because Rockledge basketball was equally as strong. Vieira – I mean, you know, they do they do well in their spring sports, but people miss football when basketball season comes. I know you want to turn that around, don't you? I definitely do, uh, and we will. It'll, it'll take time. Um, you know, at Rockledge, we, we had, I think, the, the, the biggest difference maker there was there's kids with, with a chip on their shoulder. Right. Like guys are hungry. They want, they want money for college. Uh, and I feel like as a coach, like that should be one of your main motivations. Sure. To get guys money to go to school, uh, discounted education, and continue to play the game they love. Uh, so I think I don't like to use the word, word culture because I feel like it's so overused, but I feel like you've got to create that kind of environment at Vieira get those guys hungry and to want to chase a college scholarship. Yeah, I mean, you got to remove the entitlement, you know, and this is not a knock against our student athletes today because they're bigger, quicker, faster, stronger, in a lot of ways smarter, but there's an entitlement that goes with today's student athlete that didn't exist 20 years ago. I feel anyway, your thoughts? Um, I kind of feel like a lot of that comes from parenting. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's kind of one of those things as a coach, you, you, you know, as me coming into to a situation like at Vieira, I got to find the guys that want to compete every day. Right. Uh, and, and there's some guys there that want to do that. And then, you know, through our workouts and whatever we're going to do, it's going to be a competition every single day. Uh, and I think once you do that and guys have to earn their way every day, uh, maybe some of that entitlement will, you know, if there isn't, you know, much if there is right. It'll it'll change and 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 we'll get we'll get it moving. Tear it down, build it up. We're here with Logan Keith, the new head coach for the Vieira Hawks basketball program. And uh, coach, let's get to know you a little bit here on Three Two One Sportscast because we're all about Brevard County here on Three Two One Sportscast, and we want to make sure that we we know you as an individual, not just as uh, somebody that walks up and down a basketball court. Tell us a little bit about yourself. So I'm married. Been married for. Oof, 16, 17 It's all right not to know. Been married for a long time. Uh, I got four boys. Okay. Ranging from 15 years old to two. Um, so well, you just need one more for uh... – Jeez, no, no. Oh, my gosh. Uh, a lot of people ask me, well, how long do you think you're going to coach? And it's like, well, my youngest son is two years old. So right. Well, yeah. You know, I want to be around and coach him when he comes through. So, uh, you know, I, I'm not a teacher. I don't work at school. So right. I work at Patrick Air Force Base. Okay organization called AFTAC. Oh yeah, um, great, great. So I do that, get in, do my job, get out, and normally, uh, you know, head to the school and... So you bring that start. AFTAC mentality, that discipline, that, that military style the a little Military bit. style. I served uh, six years in the Air Force. So well, thank you for your service, yeah. I appreciate it. But uh, that's, uh, you know, that's definitely something that we try to bring to the table every day. Tell us a little bit about some of your hobbies, you know, aside from basketball, if you have time for any. What does uh, – do you like to fish? you like an outdoor guy? What do you, what do you like to do? I uh, do like to fish. Uh, it's kind of rough when you take four boys fishing. <laughs> yes. You got four – you got five fishing poles, and, and I'm not ever the one throwing my line in the water. I'm breaking up fights and putting on hooks. So I like to go charter fishing where there's somebody there no, I got deal you. with all that, and, and I actually get to fish. Uh, but, man, to be honest – uh, I like to coach. Um, that's that is legit my hobby. Yeah. Um, I help coach little league football. Uh, I'm involved with with a couple of AAU organizations. Sure. Um, and I just like being around kids and helping to develop. That's just kind of my hobby. Well, coach, I already got a reputation in town as a Vieira homer. And uh, so I'm sure your departure from Rockledge Vieira is not going to help that reputation much. <laughs> but uh, if you can look into that camera and tell the people of Brevard County one thing about Logan Keith or what they can expect from the Vieira basketball program, what would it be? Well, the easy answer is going to be we're going to work hard. Uh, we're going to develop a, an everyday mentality. 
Uh, that's going to be our approach to this as we move forward is every single day we're going to do something to get better. Uh, you know, the goal kind of, if there is goals, is, you know, to, to get 1% better every day. Uh, and I feel like when you do that, you're creating habits that are going to carry you into college. And, you know, once you get out of college into your workplace. So, uh, I mean, that's, that's just kind of what we're going to do. There it is, folks, the new head basketball coach for the Vieira Hawks, Logan Keith. For Logan Keith, I'm Alan Slaughterzinski for 321 Sportscast.